Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. Blee is a creator that I've been following for a while. They recently released a huge minigame called Fuel, where you literally drive a car and the graphics are just unbelievable. And two years before that, I played Trash Level in a Love Request video so long ago, and I used the level as clickbait. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Because there's a bunch of trash bags everywhere, the whole thing's set in a factory. Subscribe or be thrown in the trash. Now, there's something more crazy on the go right now, which is absolute garbage using the song Warzone by Boom Kitty. This level apparently absolutely bangs. I've heard so many good things about it from my friends. I'm just gonna go into a blind practice mode. Let's see what's up. Just look, this creating info in the beginning, like Blee is actually such an a, a powerhouse. What is that intro? Nah, 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 I'm looking at that again. What? <laughs> nah, I already know this is about to be fire. Oh my god, this looks insane. After turning the volume down, here I am. This is ridiculous. The foreground and the background. What? This is so sick. The movements are so perfect. What? No way, this is a real level. No way. This is so sick. What? Nah, 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 you... Uh, uh, <laughs> No way! This is unbelievable! I can't believe what I'm seeing! How is this possible? These movements are so perfect! What? Oh my god, Blee. The progression in your creating skill in just two years is ridiculous. I knew I had to get on this after what people were saying. Oh my god. I cannot believe I played Trash Level two years ago, and now I'm playing Absolute Garbage, which is four million times better. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is unbelievable. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> no way. No way. I, this is not the same person. Ain't no way. No way. You, you got ghost level creators. There's just no shot. This is Zender game. This is Zender Blee. There's so many visuals. I just don't even understand what's happening. No way. No way. No way. You look. Thanks to Woolsey. Why am I here? I did nothing. <laughs> oh, those lucky people got a playtest. I had the opportunity and I just didn't bite. I could have playtested this. I cannot believe this is a real level. No way this is possible. I'm flabbergasted. I can't lie. I don't think my voice has ever been that high pitched since I played Fall Guys. Oh my god. That just that caught me so off guard. Trash compactor. My ass. This is just legendary GD level compactor. This is quite possibly my new favorite level in the game. There's nothing that can really top this in my opinion. Like, come on. I can't believe how well this is all pieced together. Playing trash level beforehand is literally such a joke. The beginning of this video is such a joke now. This is just so shocking. I can't believe it. Like, oh, how is that? I I don't get it. I literally don't get it. I spend so much of my time building in this game and I just, I will never, ever understand how this sort of stuff is possible. I, I'm speechless. I just don't know what to say. This is literally so perfect in every way imaginable. The foreground is beautiful. It's got about 4,000 middle ground layers. You can see in the beginning, there's just trash bags everywhere. It's so beautiful. The block designs are amazing. The movements are so satisfying. You've got animations when the blocks are moving. This is just so ridiculous. This takes particle effects to a whole new level. Like, what the heck is that music saying? No way you're a human. No way you're a human. This is like a hundred people working on the same project. Ain't no way. No way. How- You're rotating blocks and everything, and the gameplay is so sight readable too. I did one practice- two practice runs. My bad, I can't even count. Oh, I died. Okay, finally. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm sight reading this super well, considering I've barely even been into practice. Despite all of the movements everywhere. Like, look at the orbs falling apart! That is just so nuts. This is beyond any level in the game. I swear to god, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I never pictured anything like this in GD. This is absolutely inhuman. There is no way this level is made by a real person. I'm convinced. The gameplay is amazing, too. How do you mix such good gameplay and such good vibes? The change in the foreground is so hyper-realistic, too. Even though they're probably just a bunch of objects. I can't even tell. It's all moving so fast. I can't even process what's happening. This is just so ridiculous. How do you... How? I can't- I actually can't speak. This is ridiculous. How? The gameplay is so beautiful too! This is- <laughs> Absolute masterpiece! No shot! No shot! That's a 10 out of 10 level. No way. No way. No way. No way. 
That's unbelievable. Unbel unbelievable. Un hmm. I'll shut up there. This is ridiculously good. That took me barely any time at all to learn. New favorite level in the game. No questions asked. Wait a minute. Oh, hell no. Nah. What? How? How is this under 40k object? What the heck? You're, no, no, no. I, I don't want to believe this. You're telling me that this is like 1,000 only, yet corn is a mill object? No shot. I don't get it. Blee, you are a mastermind. That's actually so shocking to me. This is actually so clever that you put rocks here for like trash bags and stuff. What? People are too smart. I'm just gonna go straight into fuel and just show you this too, cause it's ridiculous. Again, I can't believe that absolute garbage has been released so soon after fuel. How is that possible? How do you make a level this good and then drop another mega banger literally a couple of months later? Like, look! Click to change, like... <laughs> okay, Lee's talent is literally unbelievable. Like, what the heck? Look at this! The car! Rob Top Race, like... How do you even conceive visuals this good, let alone make them in the GD editor? Like, get lost, man. Well, how do I play? Tap when the needle points here. Gotcha. Hold to speed up your car. Yeah. Gotcha. This is ridiculous. The shake is unbelievable. <laughs> like, look at the visuals. I have no idea what's happening. I'm not gonna lie, but just this is... I can't believe how good Blee is at creating after, like, barely any time at all. I know it's cool and all, but mind you, this is less than two years ago. I kind of gassed it up at the beginning for being two years ago, but it's not even two years ago. Like, it's sick, right? But it... Uh, how do you go from this to absolute garbage? I don't get it. This should not be possible. I can't believe how good this is. Like, who are you? Who are you? Who? <laughs> I'm having a midlife crisis as a creator. I can't believe this is possible. There's another creator that I want to point out that is absolutely cracked by the name of Splinter25. You might know them for working on Born Survivor with Dana. Assembly Line is a four-star level and it goes so hard. The factory theme is so good. That's why I'm bringing it into this video. Just alongside absolute garbage, this one has some insane animations too, where you're literally deconstructed as a cube and put together on a conveyor belt and transitioned into the level seamlessly as a ship. Like, how does that even happen? We have beautiful art in the background with a bunch of icons. This is so clean as well with the 2.2 icons on the conveyor belt. And then, look, I'm putting a UFO. It's so cool. It's so cool. I, the transitions are ridiculous too. That's another thing I want to say. Splinter25 does such a good job at seamlessly transitioning between different parts in a level. I just, how is any, how are any of these levels real? I just don't get it. It's ridiculous. Look, I will never ever come up with this level of concept ever in my life. I'm hyped when I make like something that looks kind of decent, right? Feature worthy, but this is just above and beyond. Like this is legendary status. Nothing is gonna top a level like this, man. Come on. Look, it's so conceptually brilliant. The background with the icons through the window is so cool. I just don't understand how people are this talented. It's just not fair. Look at the end screen. <laughs> Born Survivor is another mega banger, another one of my favorite levels in the game. Like, this level is ridiculously good. I wouldn't normally make a video just gassing people up like this without some sort of review format where I'm, like, analyzing the decoration. I'm just blown away by Blee and Splinter25. Mega shoutouts to these creators because I have never seen anything like any of their works before. It's unbelievable. Flowing right now with the icon transitions. And you can see a huge improvement from Born Survivor to Assembly Line. The way that this smoothly transitions on. I just gotta say, these creators are improving so fast and you have to keep a lookout for them because they're just gonna take over the game soon if they keep making mega bangers like these. Anyway, I think you get the idea that I'm a bit jealous of these creators. My goodness, I've lost my voice just from reacting to those levels. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this Geometry Dash video. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.